Rap Sheet to Resume is a project about individuals who have spent time inside the system coming out and uh, having an artistic exploration as a means to reimagine themselves, their positions in society, and society's response to them. Uh, my name is John B. Springs III. I've done a total of about 36 and a half years inside of prisons. Prison is a scary place. It's not some place you really want to be. For instance, a lot of things that people don't let you see in the light come out when it get dark. Grown men, muscle-bound, killers, lay up in their cells and cry. But you never see it. Because when the day break and they come back out the cell, they're the same guy that you met the other day. No tears, no smiles, no hope. And I think he would say, well, wait a minute, you have an issue that affects 65 million Americans. 65 million Americans have a criminal record on file. That's important for us to sort of soak in as we have this conversation. It's easy to do what the system has taught us to do, which is to other them, to assume that, you know, these are these folks who got caught up in the system. Well, when you have an issue that affects one in three American adults, it is not them, it is us. We have to get to the point where Americans wake up and say, you know what, this is not who we are. This doesn't match our values. This doesn't match our morals. But I'm sure there were times when it felt like it was impossible. Like, man, I'm never going to get out of here, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, what happens? Boom, just like that, right? The dream becomes a reality. You can do anything you want. I firmly believe that because I think we stop ourselves. The one thing I did learn about jail that I didn't have when I was in jail mm -hmm. is patience. Well, my skills are survival skills. I survived in yeah. the streets when I was the age of 13. But some people might have went to college. Some people went to the military. Mm -hmm. Me, I was in prison. That was my learning space in life. I fixed the phone several times and a captain told me, you should be an electrician. So before I was incarcerated, I was just focused on one thing, not realizing there's so many other things out there. Now I don't know which job to pick, electrician, plumber. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like you're real good at troubleshooting. You're real good at critical thinking, you know, things like that. Because like, that's the way that looks on the resume once you write that down. Set this cell on fire cause I'm tired of your lies. So um, earlier today, um, I sung a song about how I was feeling in Rikers Island because I didn't have a pillow for over three years. I was only in general population for approximately three weeks and then I was put in solitary. So I was just tired of pleading and begging for tissue, sanitary napkins, food, water. So I learned to improvise. I would take my jumper and I would fold it up and make a pillow. So I would either be naked with a pillow or a homemade pillow or have my clothes on and no pillow. And what Johnny was teaching about how you present yourself what your resume needs to look like, to look professional, mm -hmm. that you have to have a suit. Those are all these things about the way we present ourselves, right? There are these things on the outside. I'm always interested in art that doesn't just represent something, but that is something. And yet, to get there, we need to represent. What are your past colors? What are your, what are your future colors? These, these, are, these are things that are up here, so there is no right or wrong. You know, make sure you guys get out what's on your heart. What's your past colors? Green. Every time I got in green clothes, I escaped. We all made that statement of, I don't want to wear no green for a <laughs> <laughs> But it don't have to be that way. Green can be something beautiful too. You know, it can broaden our scope. Even though it was depressing at one point, we can reverse it. I was thinking about how here this, this color that, that has been used in this institutionalized context has gathered so much meaning for all of you. And that part of our work together has been about freeing yourselves of that meaning, right? And so the possibility that we could be, as a group, empowering each other by talking about where we want to go or where we already are. We're creating new meaning and we're creating meaning together. The green of our uniforms.
How do you turn your rap sheet into your resume? And how do you think that working with artists can help move forward the kinds of things that Urban Justice Center cares about and values? I always like to say we are an advocacy organization. We are not a law firm. We are limited in our methods only by our own creativity. Art has always played a, a, a critical role in moving people to, to change systems and to protest. And, and so this is really just another tool, but perhaps as powerful as anything. And so it should be someplace, should be someplace the Urban Justice Center is. We should be involved with art and artists. I hope this is the start of a greater participation in that realm.